wedge though, oh man, it just nothing is easy with this guy, okay? Um, that is a very long, thin eye. That is not a standard eye uh, that you're gonna find around today. And with no stock handle, even from companies, you know, is gonna be just right for that. And you can see where we're going with this, all right? Remember, remember when we first got it and they, and the guy, whoever had it, his handle was too small and he put those shims in. Well, that's why. All right. That's why, uh, it's, it makes it a lot harder. So the, the dilemma is, do you scooch it up to the front? So that the front's touching and you got solid wood all the way through and then all your shims are at the back. All right. Or do you do the opposite? Do you scooch it all the way to the back and then you put your shim at the front? Okay. Uh, you know, I'd rather do one or the other, not both. Frankly, uh, for alignment and balance in that front is just striking me as a lot better. Back's a little bit off. Like you're a little bit off that lateral pivot stuff that we talked about. Oh, dilemma. So there's generally two ways, two theories on how to do this, okay? One way is that we're going to do just like the original owner and shim up, just do a bunch of shims here in the back, all right? This works. This works. I have another axe where I did something quite like that. Big axe, all right? That's holding up great with these funky shims in the back kind of shaped round, you know, to get a good fit. That works pretty well. But there's another way to do it, okay? There's another way to do it. And I know this is possible. I've seen it done. And you actually just, you cut off the back of the I would, and you make that flush. And then you glue um, a complete piece of wood under this whole area, all right? And wood glue is really strong. I mean, this is a legitimate way to do it, and you just make a new eye. You basically make a new eye, okay? And um, shape it, fit it to the head, and go like that. Oh, I knew I had this piece, this old sawed off handle. Imagine, check this out. That'd be perfect. That would be perfect, right? Let's try that. I once had a friend named Joe, the biggest lumberjack in all of Idaho. He worked like a dog from day to day. He drew 10 cents an hour for his pay. Saturday evening it had him a ball, it ride him a log over Idaho Falls. But now Joe he's laid to rest, he forgot the slogan that he learned best. He learned best, he learned best. Don't you cut timber on a windy day, stay out the wood, you better listen what I say. Limbs in the top lot will go either way, don't you cut timber on a windy day. Okay, basta. I can't do anymore. Okay, I can't do anymore. Well, we got it to fit. The eye fits really good. I like that. Okay, that little safety dowel in there. I'm glad it's there. I'm not sure I did the best job getting, you know, super flat and a great seal down here. So I'm glad it's there. All right, tell you what, getting bit alignment, bit to handle alignment is a pain in the ass. Okay, that's a pain in the ass. And with the straight handle, we talked about that, right? It doesn't, it's not, this isn't the test. It's somewhere in here. You know, I looked at the drawings. I don't know exactly where he's at. You know, I ended up about right there, almost parallel. Looks a lot like, you know, the, the illustrations in the book. So I think we got two Dudley Cook axes ready to get, ready to get wedged, okay? So that'll be the next video. And I want to really say thank you to all you viewers who are like watching this whole series, right? It keeps me motivated and I keep going. 
chugging along even when things look grim. So thank you very much.